this is uh, it's pretty cool for me to be able to go through my first signing day here. Uh, and, and I give a lot of credit to the guys that are on this list. A lot of them uh, had been committed to the last staff, and they'd done a great job of, of recruiting some excellent football players and, and some guys that I really enjoyed, uh, you know, their personality and, and their love for the game of football and what type of student athlete they were. So uh, obviously we kept that commitment and wanted to make sure that the guys who had committed to play football at Charlotte still had that opportunity. So great job by the last staff and uh, some really good players on this list that I think meet some traditional or uh, some some positional needs and um, you know obviously for us there's there's still more to come uh, we expect to sign somewhere around the you know 23 range for this class is what we're hoping to get to obviously if the players aren't what meet our expectation then we'll sign less but so we got some room to make sure we go out and hit the road in January, uh, go sign some guys that that will fit some needs for us as well, and and uh, but feel like we got a really good group today, which I'm sure every head coach on signing day feels really good about their class. Well, there were a lot of them. You know, when the, when the staff changes, they have questions. So a lot of them kind of reopened their you know, their recruitment. They wanted to make sure that this staff had the same um, you know kind of thoughts and expectation for them that the last one did. Uh, I think there were some guys who their recruitment really started heating up late you know had some guys that played in the uh, in the shrine game and really showed out Jalen Sharp had a had an unbelievable all-star game and uh, started to really heat up late I think for the most part with the guys that are on this list it was me just getting an opportunity to be around them and their family and assure them that this was the right place to be that they picked Charlotte uh, and that this staff was going to continue to make sure that they treated their son the same way that the last staff had promised them so uh, I thought it was important that they met their position coach uh, whatever coaches I could get here were here um, and then meeting me and and this is what my expectation is for you and and what your student athlete experience should be like here I think Charlotte football players in general uh, are blown away by what this place is when they have a chance to be in here for first second third fourth time I mean I've been here on campus probably four or five days and every time I walk in a new building, I'm blown away at how amazing this place really is. So I think for them, it was continuing to show them parts of this campus. Anytime you have 30,000 students, there's a building you haven't been in before. There's a dorm you've never been in before. Where are you living? Where are you eating? You know, what type of facilities do we have from a football aspect? So they're still blown away. They don't understand right underneath their nose. They have a big time division one football program uh, that they have an opportunity to be the face of and, and to do some things here that have never been done. So um, it's still fun, even with the local guys, to, to show them what this place has to offer. I tell people all the time, my favorite part about hiring new people is that I get to show off this campus one more time. You know, it doesn't matter if it's 11 o'clock at night and they're getting here. I can't wait to meet them on this campus and show them this place. Uh, and it's no different with these recruits. So, you know, we expect to have a really high success rate whenever we bring a guy on an official visit. I think will be a very difficult place to beat. And uh, it seemed to be that way for us uh, this, this last, you know, week and a half. There's a couple guys uh, that we've hired, and I know we're expecting to do something here. Uh, Brandon Cooper will, will be uh, our co-defensive coordinator. Uh, we'll coach our safeties. He was our, our defensive coordinator at Austin P. Um, Mark Carney is our quarterback's coach. Uh, Mark was the offensive coordinator at Virginia State and was fortunate enough to be my quarterback's coach in college at the University of Richmond. Um, made me into being one of the best backup quarterbacks ever uh, when there were only two on the roster. Uh, and then uh, uh, Carter Crutchfield is, um, is with us. He's our recruiting coordinator and director of football operations, uh, done, has done a little bit of everything. Uh, obviously, he and Trevor combined will be a dynamic duo for us. And then uh, Chris Laskowski will be our uh, strength coach. I'm trying to think. Oh, Eddie Hicks is our corners coach. Uh, Eddie was a corners coach at Southern Miss this past season. The hard part about it for me is, uh, uh, you, number one, you don't have a full staff here. So you know guys and you know who you expect to hire and you're wanting to make sure that they get a chance to watch these guys on film and make sure that they fit. So anytime a new head coach takes a job, you got two options. Number one is you can cut every kid they have committed and start all over. All right, that usually doesn't go over very well. Number two is you can have some hard conversations with some kids and say, listen, I know we want everything to go well on signing day, but we also want you to understand that we're going to run a different scheme. You may have a triple option quarterback committed, and you're not running the triple option anymore. So you need to tell that quarterback, we will still sign you. 
but our scheme is going to lo look a little bit different than what you had uh, previously played under. So for us, schematically, there's some similarities. Uh, it wasn't to that extent, and it was a lot of guys who we felt really good about being really good players here. So we stuck with the commitments, um, and uh, you know, I, I think there's some others that maybe um, you know they want to wait until the entire staff gets here. Uh, and and I as do I. I want everybody to feel really comfortable and for them to know this is exactly where they want to be great. And so, you know, January will be really important from that aspect to get everybody hired, get everybody here, try to take a deep breath and say this is what life should look like here. Well, you, you know, my number one regret right now is I, I still haven't had enough time to get out in Charlotte. Um, you know, I've, I've spent two or three days trying to interview people, even in Atlanta, uh, as the last, you know, the last week and a half. And really what I had was about six days that I could be on the road. So when you spend two or three of them interviewing and you're in a different state, you obviously don't get enough chances to be here. That's the one thing to me in January that I really want to get out here in Charlotte. I think between North Carolina and South Carolina is where I will spend all of my time. Um, and, and so what we're going to do as a staff is basically you'll have, you know, 10 guys that will all have about seven schools in this area. So every day, every week during the season, um, you know, we'll try to do two or three times a week where we send them something, where we call them, where we text them, we wish them good luck, you know, great game on Friday, whatever it is. And, and we lock down you know, 70 schools within this region. And, and then I would love to be in charge of all of it. So I get one chance to go to a school, which is different. Uh, I don't get a chance to go out in the spring, which is different for me. Uh, so I think to get those coaches that really buy into this is your – this is your number one area, you know, this is, and then your primary area is within a 30 mile radius of Charlotte. And then I'll give you a secondary area, but we got to lock down here first. So that's been what I've, I, the, the only thing I feel great about everything else. I feel like that going on the recruiting weekend for me this weekend was, I was like a recruit, you know, I mean, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where to turn. I don't know where the bowling alley is. I don't know. I have no idea where any of it is. But every time I go in a new place in the city and in this university, I'm blown away. It's unbelievable. We have so much to show that you wish the visit was longer than 48 hours. And uh, so I, I thought it was exceptional. And, um, you know, again, I'm just fired up about getting chances for coaches and for players to be able to see what this place is really like. But Calming down. Uh, I, I've, I've been gone from my wife and four-year-old for for a week and a half, and my wife is probably ready for me to come home and and um, and and get him under control. And and so I'm looking forward to that, and and then hiring a staff. That's my priority right now. I think we have really really good players on this list. Solid football players, exceptional people, and I think the part that. I, really made me excited was going through what we went through this past weekend and getting into a couple schools in Charlotte and just, excuse me, seeing the excitement of, of local high school football players and talking to high school coaches and developing some of that, those relationships, trying to change the perception of, you know, we're going to take care of what, what is right in front of us. Um, that's exciting to me. And so we're going to come back in the 1st of January and we're going to get on 2020 guys and make sure that we're the first to offer. If a guy in Charlotte can play in Charlotte, we're going to be the first ones to offer them. And uh, so that's kind of the next part. We're going to see what's left of the 2019 class, make sure we're making the right decisions and don't stretch. Uh, and then we're going to get on 2020 guys in a hurry. So, um, you know, again, I think the quality of high school football here is off the charts and and there's plenty of guys here who need to be there's a lot of guys on this day that are signing to go other places and that shouldn't happen and we got to make sure that we're proactive and and make it hard on them to say no i i can go recruit you know 15 four stars right now and spend all my time on that uh, and have a great recruiting class but for the next four years you know if, if i don't really go recruit a staff and get the right people in place we're not going to be near as successful as we should the thing that i'm able to sell to these recruits is i promise you you will be developed here uh not just 
you know, from a football perspective, uh, but also what type of grown men you're going to be coached by. Um, not due to, to me, but I, I believe that the assistants that want to come here and that I think will get here uh, are, are the best of the best. And so it was trying to make sure that I got the right staff together, uh, that I got a feel for what did I have to offer, um, what areas did I need to make sure that I hit, you know, hit a home run. I, I think that we're, we're going to make sure that we have some guys who have some prior knowledge of North Carolina and South Carolina. Um, and, and so your staff dynamics change a little bit. Um, but for me, that was the number one part. Uh, I know my wife would love for me to tell you that it was buying a house, but that really hasn't been, been the number one criteria. Um, and then it was making sure that the guys we had committed felt good about this place. Uh, you know, you see too much in college football nowadays where a guy takes a job and he drops 10 guys right before signing day and, and, and you start off on the wrong foot. I think for me it was making sure that the guys that we had committed fit what we wanted to do and then convincing them that the aspirations and the vision of this place have not changed. We expect to be great and, and we want to do it in a hurry. So um, it, it's, it's been a lot getting to know campus, uh, getting to know, you know, where do we want to go take them to dinner? Where, you know, what, what bus line do we use? I mean, all of those things are, uh, you know, a learning experience for me. Uh, and then I think you got a chance to go around this campus. What do we need to sell more of? You know, where do we need to take guys when they're on an on-campus visit? So, uh, it, it's been a feel it out process, but, but again, I go back to the staff is what makes me successful. I've always believed that. If you surround yourself with great people, you'll be great. If you make a mistake in hiring, you're going to have a long, you know, uh, you'll have a long way to go. So, recruiting staff has been number one.